Monday the 1st of July 2019 and finally Untamed is opening at Wallaby Holland. We've been invited to attend the press preview event here at Wallaby Holland. So we'll be checking out the ride, doing a couple of reviews, getting some off-ride footage. I've been joined by Paul from Thrill Rides Photography. Mark's with me, Jimmy's with me. We'll all be giving our reviews, hopefully get some interviews as well for, with people from Wallaby, RMC and anyone else that's been involved with the project. Really excited to give it a go, see how it compares to Steel Vengeance. It's one that everyone in Europe has been looking forward to. So yeah, I'm really hyped to see how it goes. So we'll let you know how the ride is when we get on it. But for now, we're gonna take a look around the area, get some shots of it testing, a bit running with people on and stuff like that. So yeah, we'll see where the day takes us. Before we take a ride on Untamed, we thought it'd be a good idea to show you how you can get to Untamed from the existing rides that are open here at Wallaby Holland. So if you're coming from Goliath through to Wilderness, you will walk underneath this structure and as we turn around, we will see more of Wilderness and of course we will see Untamed. So this is the way that you would come to Untamed if you've just taken a ride on Goliath and then you decide, you know what, I'm going to go and ride Untamed next. So this is the, the route that you would take. It's also worth mentioning that this area is not all just about Untamed. There is catering units open as well. You can get hot dogs, you can get wraps, you can get fries. So yeah, there's uh, more than just an RMC in this area and it's been presented really nicely. We're really looking forward to getting on to Untamed though. I think it's worth getting Mark in for the first time today. You are a big lover of Steel Vengeance. Yes. How excited are you to get on Untamed? I, I was like a kid at Christmas. Literally, I could not sleep last night. And all I kept thinking was, it's over in tomorrow, it's over in tomorrow. I am so hyped. When, when we came like yesterday and you see this for the first time and you just think, this is well done. They've just not thought about how the ride is. They've thought about the whole area as such. They yeah. Do the catering out where it's all blending with the station. You've got other things around here. You've got like a place where you can sit down with your friends in a structure yeah. there, you know what I mean? And have some to eat. It is just brilliant. I am so hyped for this. I cannot wait to, to get on it. You know, you just see so many people, obviously. Fred Grubbs there, you know, you get to speak to the person that just thinks and made this in your life. Yeah. Yes, mate, I am so, 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 so happy to be finally here and then getting on this. I, I, I can't see myself coming out with no smile on my face. I just know it's going to happen. I think there's going to be a massive smile. I think there's going to be a Steel Vengeance or Top Thrill Dragster smile from you again. There will be. I'll just know that as soon as I press that first and I'm like going down, I'll be like, yes, and this little speed time, uh, Hill that's in there, I'll be going to be so happy. I cannot wait. I am literally... I'm just itching, I just want it to be like half one and then we're on it. I just can't wait, literally, I can't, I'm so happy about this. I cannot wait, so, so happy. It's just it's gonna be ace, I just know it, I just know it. It's finally here, we're finally going to ride Untamed at Wallaby Holland. How exciting is this? It's very, very, very exciting. There is a lot of people really, really hyped to get on this for the first time. And here we have an old Robin Hood carriage above our heads. Oh, this is exciting. It's not very often you get to ride a new coaster on the first train, but that is exactly what we're going to be doing. I am so excited. We're going for the back row. That's the aim. That is the aim. We're going for the back row. I apologise for the shaky footage, but if I don't keep up with the group in front, I will lose my place in this line. It's just so exciting. Yes, here mate, it's here. It's here at last. This is what we came for. 
This is what this trip's been about. I cannot wait to finally get on another RMC. He's so excited. And the queue is just going to build and build and build from here. I am so excited. This is probably the most anticipated roller coaster in Europe for some time. Whether you're an RMC fan or not, there's no doubt in the hype for this coaster has been real ever since it was announced. Let's see if it lives up to the hype. We're now in the station front end and yeah, the hype really is real. This roller coaster has two trains and it's starting on two trains. So yeah, we'll let you know how we get on. So we're here with Fred Grubb from Rocky Mountain Construction and Barry Weston from Global Coasters Limited. Yep, yep excellent. I'll start with Fred. Can you first tell us how RMC came about and the inspiration behind the company? Uh, well, RMC came about, uh, we, we, uh, we used to repair tracks, repair coasters. It came about because uh, this new track system is, uh, the new iBox track system we developed it and uh, it's worked out well for us. Yes. It allows us to do all of these different elements on wood coaster, where before we couldn't do that. Yeah, definitely. Uh -huh. So RMC has some of the craziest layouts in the world uh -huh. and some of the best layouts. Where do the ideas come from? Because it's so uh, different to what we've seen before. Alan Schilke is uh, he's creative. Uh, he's the, he creates uh, all these layouts, all different things. And it's he's just he's just great at what he does. You know, really great. Great stuff. So Barry, you've yep. helped work on this ride's construction. Uh, yep. Could you tell us a little bit about Global Coasters? Well, basically I started 20 years ago working for a different company, hands-on, uh, building traditional wood coasters. Yep. Uh, actually worked on Robin Hood. Yep. It was first constructed 19 years ago. Uh, and then recently we've just been doing repair work on traditional coasters. Just uh, reached out to RMC one day with an email saying, uh, do you need some help? Uh, uh, basically, and now we're here now today. Yeah, working together, yeah. making great coasters. So uh, this is one for you both. What is your favourite part of Untamed? Uh, you know, there's so, there's so much there that I, I couldn't even tell you. It's just uh, the whole ride is actually the whole ride has so many elements. It's non-stop, so it's it's just yeah. everything about it's good and it's very smooth. Uh, for me, it's the first time I rode it today, and I was thinking I was still going to ride Robin Hood. Yeah. So when I come off the first drop, it was like. I'm not going to swear. <laughs> it was like, Jesus. <laughs> yeah, it's something completely different. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And finally, have you guys got any more projects where you'll be working together in the near future? Oh, yeah, yeah, we'll work together, and we have uh, we have several projects coming up down the pipeline. And so we're all, all the I, we, our company just never shuts down anymore. We, we just are continuous. Great so, stuff. Obviously, whatever projects come up in, mainly in Europe, we'll, if, Fred's happy with what we're doing, we'll continue like that. Great stuff, well thank you very much and keep up the great coasters guys. Right, thank you. Cheers. See you soon. Ten parks in less than two hours. Yeah. So many parks here. Yeah, there is, they're all nice. The Untamed merchandise. So in front of us here we've got a t-shirt. We have 
shot glasses. I'm going to keep this quick because I'm stood in the exit path of t Untamed. And then we have Untamed Mugs up the top. And Untamed Jumper. And let's see what else we've got. Some other bits and bobs here. I think they're Untamed Socks. And then we've got key rings. Oh, I'll we'll try and make that focused. There we go. Watch out, I'm untamed. And we have more t-shirts. Again, watch out, I'm untamed. And we have the untamed cap. Ah, they look like bracelets. Yep, they are bracelets. And we'll take a closer look at the mugs. So yeah, that is the merchandise for Untamed here at Wallaby Holland. You see, I'm keeping it quick because it is right in the walkway of the exit of Untamed. So I don't want to get in people's way for too long. But yeah, plenty of merch to pick from, but it's not really a massive shop for it. It is literally just what's in shot now. And like I say, it's at the exit of the ride, so it does kind of get in the way. If you are going to have a browse, you will probably get in the way of everyone getting off the ride. But hopefully they'll move the merchandise for Untamed a little bit closer to the park entrance, especially as there is a shop at the entrance of the park. So hopefully they'll move the Untamed merch down there eventually. So I'm back outside now, back towards the queue line, the main sign for Untamed. Just have another look around the area. It's pretty quiet around here now because everyone's either in the queue or they've been on the ride already. But it has been a very, very good opening day for Untamed here at Wallaby Holland. I should mention as well, it does have fast lane, but fast lane is closed today. And it also has a single rider queue. I apologise for the camera shake. Walking and talking and filming is not a speciality of mine because I always make it shaky but I hope you've enjoyed the footage so far today and we've got the untamed waterfall, we've got the main queue in the background there, if you've been on uh, Robin Hood when it was here before it was untamed you'll recognise the, uh, the setup with the queue and the station, so this is the single rider queue here. Whilst we've been posting the updates from Wallaby Holland on social media today, a lot of people have asked what are the restraints like on Untamed. So here's the test seat and it's a good indication of where your legs sit. I'll try and push this down while, it's, while I'm filming it, it's quite heavy. So as you can see it sits on your lap there. If you imagine you sat in this seat, so it'll be on your lap, but there is also those leg clamps. Now of course it doesn't come this far down, but you imagine a general sort of average body size sat in there your legs will be clamped in and the lap bar this one in particular will be sat just at the bottom of your belly and these leg clamps here sit on your calves so yeah that should give you a good indication of where the lap bar will sit on you on an rmc roller coaster i hope you find this useful if you're a little bit worried about the restraints on an rmc coaster Hey Scott, good to see you. It's Peter here, Zero G Reviews, and man, what a ride! This is a, for all of you know, this new RMC in Walibi Holland, my home park, <laughs> and we we have an RMC. Uh, I would say nine out of ten. Excellent. Nine out of ten. Um, and why not a ten? I'm not sure actually. Maybe I'll give it a ten. Yeah, I, think I you should. You know, the thing is, I love the balance. So. Yeah. Uh, for me, that's the same same uh, vibe as Steel Vengeance. You know, like the the airtime and the, the inversions mixed together. I get Steel Vengeance vibe, especially for the finale, right? Yeah, yeah, definitely. Yeah, right. So but, similar with all the bunny hills. Exactly. But to have this on only 90 minutes drive, it's still unbelievable. <laughs> I mean, this is still unbelievable for me. Only 90 minutes away. And what is your yeah. outright highlight? 
Uh, I would say this I, as from the step up under flip all the way to the barrel. Yeah. Excellent. Yeah. And uh, what next for you then? What's happening on your channel next? Uh, well, I'm planning to go back to Lisburg. Oh, cool. Ooh, and for the next four weeks, I'll be here at Wally <laughs> oh, Of course, I, I don't blame you. So, yeah. Uh, yeah, thank you very much. Of course, pleasure to see you again. So, we've come to the end of a fantastic opening day of Untamed here at Wallaby Holland. We've heard from Fred Grove, we've heard from Barry Weston, we've been on the ride, we've got lots of footage of it. It's just been a great day, it's been great to experience this opening day. It was something I was hoping to do for months and months and months. To be invited on the press thing was just amazing. So, a big thanks to Scott, Marco, and everyone else at Wallaby Holland for making that possible. And yeah, that's it really, it's just been such a fun time, there's a POV on the channel of me and Mark on the ride, there's going to be reviews on the channel, there's going to be off-ride footage, there's testing footage from before it opened, so yeah, that brings our untamed coverage pretty much to an end for the time being, but we'll be back at Wallaby Holland, whether that'll be for uh, Friday nights this year or next year will remain to be seen, but we are going to do a Coastal Club event here as well at some point. We've already spoken to the guys at Wallaby about that this afternoon, so that is something that we're going to be looking to do next year, so keep an eye out for details on that, because we'll probably be trying to get an ERT on this thing. It might not be possible, but we will be trying. So yeah, that's it from me. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you in the next Pleasure Beach Experience video.